Hello there. I am KJ. Welcome to KJ Paints. I am going to be doing a pearl portrait today. Um, I've been wanting to do one ever since my success with the pink tourmaline. Um, and I've had this extreme sheen, sheen silver in my stock, so I might as well use it up. So um, I measured out all of my paints. They're all mixed with Floetrol and water. Um, and I'll show you sort of the breakdowns at the end because they got a little complicated. But I'll show you what my colors are. I've got Extreme Sheen Silver, a little paint from paint mixing on my hands. I've got uh, Artist Sloth Mars Black. I've got these three. I got pink paint up on the outside of my thing. I do. Um, so I've got uh, Windsor and Newton Permanent Magenta, Liquitex Basics Deep Violet, and Cobalt Blue Hue, Blue Hue from Windsor and Newton. And they are all mixed with a bit of white to lighten them up. Okay, so um, as we know, when we've learned over the last several months, when we work with black, it tends to take over. So I have got um, about 80 grams of black and about 80 grams each or more of these three colors. Um, and the hope is that I get sort of a mid range and I put white in all three of these colors, this one and this one. No, just this one is a transparent color. Um, the other two are both opaque. However, um, we've seen time and time again when the black interacts with them, they tend to cut, dry out darker. So that's why I wanted to balance them out with a bit of white and hope that they should kind of show up a little bit better. So I'm gonna start layering my cup and then I will pour the silver and then I'll do a um, straight pour in the center. So I'm gonna start, now I want largely black on the outside, so that's gonna be the last one in. So let's get some blue going. Let's do two layers of each, I guess. Fair amount of blue. We'll do just a little bit of black along the top here. Pink. all dripping on my camera if that's okay they're gonna get covered up I'll do some glue again paint everywhere. <laughs> So I've got my torch ready and I've refilled the butane, so that's important. Okay, so with the pearl pour, as you've seen before, if you've watched any of my other videos, um, you start by pouring your metallic in the center. And your metallic is thicker, um, so quite a bit thicker. So with the Extreme Sheen, it's already a thinner paint than like a regular tube paint comes from a bottle. Um, so it's mixed about one to one with paint to Floetrol, American Floetrol. Um, and then 
my two paints are closer to one to two uh, paint to flow troll and then a few grams of water. So you're gonna pour that in there. I'm gonna torch that. Okay, and here we go. Hopefully this works. <laughs> Whoops, let's move some things out of the way because I'm gonna end up with paint everywhere. Wash my hands three times already. Okay. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's do this way. Do the back and forth jiggle it gives you that sort of ring effect and kind of makes the paint come out in waves which is pretty neat okay wish me luck Just move on. <laughs> i'm gonna move all my paints out of the way because i don't want them i don't want wet paint all over my tubes. Okay, so now I'm going to shift the paint as quickly as possible over all of the corners. Um, and you're gonna end up with one corner that has less pearls just because it'll be the last corner, won't get as much stretching. Um, so you just have to keep that in mind. So, and then I'm gonna move it back to the center. Pour off one corner here the center. Sorry if you can't see it. I'm back. Back, 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 back. And over this edge. I'm trying to make it so you can see it. My silver is already starting to pop up. So you gotta work quick, otherwise you'll end up with sort of blobby cells that get uh, misshapen by being stretched. Go, go, go. I thought I had more than enough paint. Maybe because so much of it came off on that first corner. Ooh, there they go. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm just gonna Try and stretch that back to the center a little bit. Just a little bit, because I don't want, again, to misshapen my silver. Make them into little blobs. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna wash my hands again, and then I'm gonna torch. Okay, here we go. So with the torch, I don't wanna touch the paint. I just wanna heat it up and allow it to, exp the silver to expand underneath. And then number one thing is that I, I like to, uh, I start to worry that the, the pearls aren't coming up fast enough. And then I end up trying to stretch it out again to get more paint off the canvas, which always screws it up. So I'm not gonna do that this time. Okay. This corner and then I'm going to use my little, uh, out knife and scrape along the edges so that it's not pulling the paint down. And I'll do that um, a couple times as the painting dries as well, or at the beginning as it dries. And touch big corners while you're at it, and then this side. Okay, this is the part where I start to panic and worry that the cells aren't gonna come through, but they are starting. So um, as we know, it takes a few minutes. I'm gonna leave the camera on um, and then I'll do a zip through and you can see them as they develop. I'll probably torch a few more times as well, but I won't be talking anymore. <laughs>
Okay, here is the painting after probably a couple of hours, or an hour, <laughs> hour and a half. Um, and yeah, so it's gone as far as it's gonna go, I think. It's already actually even dry on the very edges. Um, yeah, so lots of silver pearls, even a few black pearls, weirdly. Never had that happen. Um, you can see that this is the corner where there's the least uh, least amount of pearls. And I'm wondering if my black paint, because this is largely where the black seemed to have landed up. A little bit in here too. Um, black paint might have been just a hair thick. And same with the blue paint. You can see quite a bit of blue in here that didn't get, um, didn't allow any silver through. So I think those two paints might have been just a little bit thick. So you can see the importance of consistency especially in this type of pour. And although I did, sorry, although I did write down the mixes that I use and I will show it at the end, um, it just it goes to show you how important consistency is. And when you see the different um, flow troll amounts and water amounts, it'll show you, it'll even show you how that can differ within paint brand, within paint color. Um, and you know, there are just so many factors. So. Um, the most important thing is to work on your consistency and practice. Practice on small things, practice on tiles, practice on, you know, six inch canvases or cardboard or anything. And, um, and work on consistency, take notes. Um, and, uh, you know, so that you can kind of see what works, what doesn't. Um, so use the numbers that I give at the end as a jumping off point, but make sure that that's not the end all and be all and just yeah try different things if you know maybe you find that you need a little bit of a little bit more water or a little bit more flow troll or you're using a totally different paint brand or several different paint brands i'm using what four four different paint brands in this painting so anyways yeah just keep all of those things in mind and i will bring you back to see the dry painting um yeah let's we'll just try hopefully tomorrow Okay, here is the dry painting, and I think it turned out really, really nice. I think based on what happened here, especially right here, and in this blue section here, I think that my black and my blue paints were just a tad thicker than my pink and purple. And the result of that is that, A, I got some black uh, pearls instead of just silver, and I got some, uh, and I didn't get a lot of anything popping through the blue sections. So especially like less here, less, less in the center, which is normal. And then around the outside, everything kind of showed up. So yeah, there you go. Another successful pearl pour. Um, I largely, largely successful. I think it turned out really nice. I love how the blue came out. Yeah. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, Love it if you would like and subscribe this video, subscribe to my channel, um, and I'll see you next time.